Welcome to another video. Sometimes all you need is the algebra skills that you are very proud of, just like I am proud of my algebra skills. But sometimes it's not enough because the work you're doing is little algebra and a lot of trig, like the problem we have here. It's a limit problem, but no matter how good your algebra is, you still have to recall the things you learned in your trig class. So, do you remember what the domain or the range of arctan is. What is arctan? Well, it's the inverse function of tangent. Do you know what the graph of tangent looks like? See, these are the questions you have to always ask yourself before you go to bed. Every night, do I remember what they look like? Because without that, you might not be able to answer this question. So, let's get into the video. The first thing I'm going to recommend in this problem is to take care of this negative infinity. I suggested in one of my recent videos that I've observed that negative infinity in limits tend to confuse many people. So I recommend that you replace negative infinity with something that's positive so you know what you're doing. So what we're going to do just before we start is to get rid of this negative infinity and get something positive. Okay, so what we're going to do is instead of using x, we're going to use, I'm going to use t. Okay, I'm going to replace x with negative t so that as x goes to negative infinity, t is going to infinity. So let's do that quickly. So let's say let um, um, x be equal to negative t. Or let's say let t be equal to negative x. I think I prefer the second one so that um, as so that as x goes to negative infinity, t is going to go to positive infinity. Just know that they're going in opposite direction because one is the opposite of the other in terms of signs. So now we can rewrite this problem and say, okay, so we say therefore the problem we have is the limit as t goes to infinity of arctan, then the problem we have here, remember x is negative, so it's going to be, is negative t, is going to be negative t squared plus 1, which as you can see, um, is the same thing as the limit, as t goes to infinity of arctan, and this is going to be, oh, it's still the same thing. It's t squared plus 1. You see, we really didn't change anything. And you could have seen that from the beginning, that when, as this one is going to negative infinity, the square of negative infinity is going to be positive infinity. Definitely. Okay, so this is the new problem. Let's deal with this. Now, what do you think happens with arctan? No matter what you plug in, even on your calculator, no matter what you plug in to the arctan function, it will always give you a value that is within its range. What is the range of arctan? For arctan t, let's just see generally, okay? Arctan t, you have the domain, the domain that is the values that you can plug into this go from negative infinity to positive infinity. So the domain is from negative infinity to positive infinity. But what comes out of it, the range is just restricted. It's from just um, after negative pi over 2 to just before pi over 2. You cannot go outside of these values. So, and since that's all we have, this is an argument, this is an argument, whatever this is, what comes out of this will either be um, between, it will definitely be between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. And that's it. So, with that, what does this graph look like? Well, the graph of arctan looks like this. If this is t, and this is arctan t. This is the graph of arctan t, okay? Remember that the graph looks like an S that is stretched out, something like this. Uh, like that. And you see this graph does not go up forever. There is a vert horizontal asymptote, 
okay, that it approaches perpetually, something like this, and there's a, another one here, okay? You see, this horizontal asymptote here happens at the point where y is pi over 2, negative. This asymptote here is also pi over 2, the positive version. That's this asymptote here. So no matter what you do to this graph, it will never go above pi over 2, it will never go below pi over 2. So whatever is happening here, no matter how big this becomes, the limit as t goes to infinity, which will be infinity, as you keep going to the right, you will keep approaching this line, but you will never get to this line. And what is the line that, see we said that if a function is approaching something, that's the limit. Okay, so the limit of this function, as t gets larger and larger, the limit is pi over 2. So you've got to see that, and that's it. So here, we can come here and say that as t goes to infinity, um, we, have, um, we have t squared plus 1 goes to infinity, and the limit of arctan of t as t goes to infinity um, well we'll say t let's just call it t squared okay but t squared plus one t squared plus one goes to infinity we can call this let's represent this as call it k and then okay and call this this k because this goes to infinity we can call this also k so the limit of k as k goes to infinity which is basically t squared plus one is going to be pi over two just from the graph and that's the answer never stop learning because those who stop learning have stopped living bye bye <music>